Oh. It's hand sanitizer. You know, gotta. Hi, bestie. Welcome back. Hi, bestie. Welcome back. I know I've been gone for a little bit of a minute. A little bit, I mean a lot. I've been gone for a while, like a month. I'm feeling good and I'm ready to sit down and film with some cool makeup today. I'm really excited about today's video. Today's video is going to be all about Korean beauty and some new K Beauty products. Um, and I'm super excited because today's video is sponsored by one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Korean beauty brand over there in Korea. And I'm super excited to be working with Clio Cosmetics. They are absolutely stunning. I've been playing with some of the products over the last few weeks. Um, Cause you guys know I do not do any sponsored content unless I try the products first. And I'm gonna be showcasing some of their eye products as well as their mascara. This is the mascara that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I'm absolutely like, you, you guys will see, this mascara is amazing. So I'm gonna be showing off some of the eye products and then some of their face products as well. Most of it is pretty new or at least new to me and new to you guys as well. So I'm gonna be showing you so much but mostly just focusing on their mascara and their new eye palettes that they have that are stunning and gorgeous. So yeah, thank you Cleo so much for sponsoring today's video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy seeing some new, some new makeup that isn't the same old same old that we always see. This stuff is honestly amazing and it's international by the way so you can get these products if you're in the states um and i believe it's available if you're outside of the states as well i'm pretty sure it's international so sit back relax we're going to be playing with some makeup today and yeah we'll begin to the mascara the first thing i wanted to show you guys is cleo pro eye palette minis these are the cutest like the package like i just want to hold it <laughs> it's so weird so there's two versions of it there is the there's rosy haze and then there is um mono mood i think i'm gonna go into i can't speak rosy haze today so the thing that i like the most about these palettes is their soft texture i'm gonna give you a little bit of a swatch so this is rosy haze up close see it has like this really beautiful glitters in there so it has like a very um beginner friendly approach to glitter like it's really, really pretty, but it's not overwhelming because I know how overwhelming just like loose glitter or pressed glitters can be. This is just like a nice, really metallic and foily finish, pressed kind of like super sparkly like eyeshadow. Just to swatch, like the two shades that are in there are so pretty. And so, like the texture of them are super soft just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like very like silky. Like the texture is very silky of the shadows, especially the um, two shimmers. And then even like the shadow itself is super, is super soft and pigmented. And I don't know, like it blends out really, really easily. Like it doesn't feel like anything's on my finger and it feels like when I'm swatching it, it like just like melts like butter. It's really hard to explain and that was, really shocking to um, kind of see when I was trying it out originally. Onto the shade Milk Tea Cream. It just like blurs, like it's like, it applies like blurred already. I don't know how to explain it. It's the silkiest and smoothest texture that I've ever felt. Mind you, I didn't set my eye primer. I want that, I want you to keep that in mind because usually when you set an eye primer, you kind of get that like easy blend already because it's on a dry, like powdery base. I didn't, I didn't set my eye primer, so I wanted it to be sticky, right? Because I wanted, that's been like the trend lately, like to have a sticky eye base and then put the, you know, but even with doing so, it still blended in seamlessly without any issue within seconds i want you to keep that in mind because that can tell you kind of like the quality of eyeshadow this is already bare cherry 
and just add a little bit um, pink and rosiness to that little area that I already applied um, milk tea cream to, just to warm it up a little bit because I want it to have like a little bit of warmth and rosiness to it. If you can hear kids outside, I want you to, okay, it is 8 p.m. It is 8 p.m. And there's still kids outside in a pool. Let that sink in, okay? Screaming at the top of their lungs. And it's the middle of a pandemic. Did you know that there's, in Korea, gatherings larger than five people is still, like, prohibited and, like, illegal? Even with them having, like, next to no cases, if they have any cases at all. But it's still prohibited. Meanwhile, in the States, there's a whole party outside my window. I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and go into Nutty Potion, which is this dark brown, and kind of deepen it up even more to make it even sexier. I don't know what shimmer. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna take Gleaming Petal, put that all over my lid. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Please. Uh, by the way, I didn't wet my finger. This is, this is all them. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little eensy beensy bit of, um, Love on Sunday, which is a little bit brighter, and I'm just gonna plop it right dead in the center, just to make it like super bright in that area. Wow, okay. So the main star of the show today, and the main thing I wanted to show you, there is three different mascaras. This one is my favorite out of the three. They're all really good, but my favorite, like my main, main one go-to is the third one. It's the Sleek Volume one. But there is Zero One, which is for curling, like that focuses mainly on curling your lashes and lengthening your lashes. And there's Zero Two, which is uh, for volume and curling and then, so it gives you volume while keeping a curl and then we have sleek volume which I don't know how to explain it it's more of like a subdued but it's more I don't know how to explain it it's just it curls it keeps a curl but also it kind of gives your eyes like I guess like a sleek look I, I really don't know another way to explain it it just gives your lashes like this boom moment kind of like more of like a, a natural cutesy look i'm gonna be honest i have been straight up using all three of these mascaras non stop like these mascaras are so good i don't know what they put in this formula but it is the first mascara collection um to ever hold a curl and keep my lashes. I, you guys can see, like I have these stick, like right here, you can see I have stick straight down lashes. It is my biggest insecurity. I hate it so much. It makes me like, it makes it so difficult for me to even put lashes on to, to feel confident and just wearing mascara. That's why I never, you never see me wearing mascara. And this is the first time that I've actually had mascara hold a curl my lashes. I have tried everything. I've tried warming up toothpicks, warming up um, lash curlers, literally any mascara under the sun that talks about keeping a curl, waterproof mascaras, I've tried everything. But for the first time, these are mascara, like this mascara line is the first one to ever actually do it. And I I'm so excited to share it with you. So first things first, I'm going to curl my lash. You're gonna see like, oh wow, he has such pretty lashes, all that stuff. 
but they never, the curl never lasts. The curl literally never lasts. So I'm like, how do I have these pretty lashes but can't even keep a curl? To the Volume Curling Mascara. Quick look before. The wand is so great if you have really beady eyes like me. Like if you have a hard time getting in the crevices. I love how it applies so much. It does not smudge or get anywhere. This is the first coat, like, I just, I need you to get into this. This is one coat. This is one coat. One, one coat. What? Look at this eye. Look at this eye. One coat, not two, one coat. I went ahead and primed my skin off camera, so now I'm gonna show you the best product in the world. It's their Kill Cover, the Clio Kill Cover Compact Foundation. This stuff is honestly, like actual, the be like literally the best, the best thing in the world. It is the best, the best thing. This is the best thing in the world. Um, I like using a sponge, but it does come with this applicator. I'm gonna try the applicator today um, for you guys, because I'm curious, but this stuff is full coverage. It melts into the skin. It's seriously one of the prettiest, if not best foundations I've ever used in my life. Like, I'm not even kidding. So you just wanna like, boop, boop, boop. And then you just start patting it into the skin. Like watch everything go away. But my skin look like silk. Like not silk, but like butter. I don't know how to explain it. Like this stuff. This foundation has something in it that makes it unbelievably gorgeous for the skin. <laughs> I like this cushion because like, I feel like it's picking up extra excess that I don't need on my face. So this is the Kill Cover Liquid Concealer. Um, I got this shade Lingerie. 2-BP, I don't know how to pronounce the word on there, lingerie, ling, 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 lingerie, no I can't. This packaging is really pretty. I'm gonna just put it on, I believe it's the same shade as the foundation. So I'm just gonna put it on like places that I typically just need just a little bit more brightness because I have really bad dark circles. So I just want a little bit more coverage there. And right here, because I have really bad, like, dark spots right there. This feels really creamy. God, this stuff is so good. <laughs> I know I'm sponsored, but, like, you guys know I don't, I don't pick sponsors just for the sake of it. I pick sponsors that I really like. And this is just so good. So we got the Stay Perfect No Sebum Blur Packs. Um, it's this really pretty packaging. It creates no sebum in your pores, which is really good. So it doesn't like create buildup in your pores. And again, it's like another little compact, but it's pressed powder. And I'm not gonna use this. I'm going to use um, a brush to apply it. I mean, look at the material. <laughs> look at the material. Oh, bitch, I look so good. I look so good. I look so good. I look so good. Okay, so next up, I have the Contour Pro Contour Palette. This has the most stunning shades for contour. It's quickly become my favorite contour palette. Um, it's in Mute Hazel. It's for 
pale beauties such as myself and it has more it has two cool tones and two warm tones so it has like bronzer um and then it has two highlighters it has like a more subtle highlighter and then a more like intense like like boom in your face highlight moment can you even see that where is it where is it on my hand there we go like a more boom in your face highlight um and then it has the more subdued highlight which you can't really it's there she's shining um i absolutely love this for contour it's really good especially if you're a pale beauty such as myself <laughs> it's really really good so i'm gonna go ahead and contour my face to die with eat i like to go into the top two shades first because i have more warm undertone skin and I just start to contour my cheekbones. It's not too pigmented, but it's not too, it's not too pigmented, so it can, but it's buildable. So you don't have to overdo it. It's really beginner friendly. I feel like a lot of this makeup is really like natural, simple, like good for your skin, like, really like healthy looking skin type of makeup. Like it makes, like my skin looks really healthy right now. And then we have the blush palette, the blusher palette. This is the Mute Petal Blush Palette. This one is gorgeous. It also has a nice, beautiful shimmer. Just to bring more warmth and more like a, a angelic look to my skin. I'm gonna put it on my nose a little bit too. Just a little bit on my nose. I wanna to have like this monochromatic moment with the eyes. I'm about to come back to the eyes right now. Prism, uh, they have this Prism highlighter. This packaging is absolutely stunning. I got the shade 01 Cream Fizz. So it comes with two gorgeous shades, uh, each little compact it's to choose from. It's very gorgeous, still really pretty. As you can see, like my fingers look absolutely wet. Boom, what did I say? It just applies like your skin is wet. So I'm gonna do like the K Beauty trick, which is bring it under here. I'm gonna go into some lips. Now, Piri Pera is sold on the Clio Cosmetics website. Um, I've tried them before. I really like Piri Pera. They are actually sold. Um, and I have tried these little ink velvets before on this channel and you guys know I really loved it. So I'm just gonna go into this. I've got the shade 17. Now you can apply this several times to make it super opaque and like, like, you know, but that's not always, that's not the trend in um, Korea. They like something a little bit more. Soft and subdued. Oh my God, this is like literally the shades of this is like the actual shade of my lips. The edges out. I so it's just a little bit later. Ignore the mess in my beauty room. I know I should probably clean it up, but it's about eight hours later since I applied all this makeup. I changed my lip situation because I wanted to see what it would look like with like a more Western lip combo. So I used the same lipstick um, in the shade 17 with um, a lip liner. But my lashes, if you can see them, are still banging as ever. Um, eight hours later, even my skin looks amazing. I mean, that's 
this is my natural skin texture with this foundation on it and it looks phenomenal still looks amazing i am absolutely obsessed with all these products eight hours later like look at my But I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, the mascara is seriously so good. Did not smudge. Hasn't even flaked. Like, look at my under eyes. Hasn't even flaked. Like, I just... Like, look at my curl still. Eight hours, you guys. Eight hours. The sun's, like, literally about to go down. It doesn't look like it, but the sun's literally about to go down. Look at my lashes. Like, do you see... The curl on them, everything is just stuck. Like, I can't even, I can't even explain. Like, this is just such a different mascara formula. Like, I can't even explain or express how good this mascara formula is. But I love it. I love this so much. Like, I just wanted to give you guys, like, a little, it just, all of it is laying so good. I darkened it a little bit more so you can actually see my skin. I mean, that's my natural skin texture, but for my natural skin texture, it looks really good. Wow. Even he's shocked. He said a while too. Look at these lashes. I just can't stop staring at the lashes. Look at the eyeshadow. Okay, so that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the look that I came up with. And please check out these mascaras, you guys. They are honestly stunning. Again, they're the Kill Lash Super Proof Mascaras. They come in three different versions, and all three are super amazing. I love all three of them so, 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 so much. I would recommend for me, 02 or 03. They're my personal favorites. They're what I have on right now. Um, if you have um, super short lashes, then I would recommend the 01, which is the um, long and curling one. So it lengthens your lashes more so than um, the other two, which is more for volume. But I really love this look. Like I feel really pretty for someone that has no lashes on. I'm someone that loves lashes. And for the first time I'm wearing just mascara and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It doesn't feel weird like most mascaras make my eyes irritable this one doesn't it was smudge proof like it didn't flake any type of way it wasn't hard to use it was just nice to use these mascaras so much um i i literally recommend everything if i'm being straight up i recommend absolutely everything if you are looking for some amazing makeup to try and add to your collection cleo cosmetics has everything under the sun it's all so good like look at my face i feel f like so pretty my skin looks so nice I, I i i'm still like in all honesty like i think all of this makeup is like my new like routine if i'm being completely real with you like everything i i'm not saying this because i'm sponsored like i'm really not like all of this is so good like, not a single thing was a miss. And that is so unlike me to just be giving a brand such a rave review. But this stuff is sickening. Like, so good. So, if you guys are in the market, please check them out. I'll have all the links down below to everything, including their website, the mascaras, the um, eyeshadow minis. Again, you should check these out as well. They're gorgeous. They have bigger um, eyeshadow palettes as well if you are interested in checking those out. Um, but seriously, all of this makeup is truly amazing. The foundation, the Kill Cover foundation, absolutely sickening. Like... I'm buying three more of these. Like, I'm buying three more just to have them. Just to have them because I need them. The highlight, the blush, the contour, everything is so good. Um, so please check them out. Again, Cleo Cosmetics, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you have any questions, honestly, about any of this makeup, leave them down below. I'll answer them. I'll be in my comment section answering away for you guys. Um, 
yeah, check them out. I love them so much. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.